2022 Specialized S-Works Tarmac SL7, size 56, custom built up with ceramic force, weighing at 15 pounds, 13 ounces, and in kilos, right at 7.18 kilos. Stay tuned to after video where you're free to buy a test on that Revolve CLX right there. Thank you. Hey, how's it going, everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. And today, I have for you guys a 2022 Specialized Tarmac SL7 with a custom build up with a, a mix of S-Works components and SRAM Force parts. And that brings me to the question to be asked, should Specialized be making a, a model or a price point like this bike? We've seen other companies like Trek do it with their top of line SLR Madones and their SLR Imondas, where they have a top tier frame, and top tier wheels on there, or even it doesn't have to be top tier wheels, but they do a mid tier component or even a rival component. And they bring down the price from being what this bike would be $14,000 if it was SRAM Red you go to something like SRAM Force, now you have on there, I think the total bill for this customer was about, I wanna say 10,000, maybe 11. Uh, he didn't buy all the stuff from me because he had to outsource it just because COVID and hard to find parts. But it brings it down to a point, it becomes more obtainable. obtainable. And maybe for the average consumer, they don't want the top tier stuff because it's more expensive to replace, like a SRAM Red cassette or a SRAM Red reader. Like, this stuff is a little bit more easy to manage with a mid-tier component and the weight wasn't bad. I mean, for a size 56, it was right underneath 16 pounds for deep dish arrow wheels and SRAM Force components. So I think they should bring this in there. I know why they don't do it. They wanna keep that S-Works uh, level product for uh, exclusive only. They wanna make it like that, that, that very expensive top tier model. But I think they would sell more bikes that are pre-made where the consumer didn't have to go ahead and buy an S-Works frame and then outsource the parts. That stuff gets kind of scary, especially if they don't have a a local bike shop or parts are out of stock. It makes it a little bit easier. But without further ado, let's get into this build up. Like I said, I think it was around 10 or 11K. Uh, this one does not have a power meter on there, but the bike came out absolutely beautiful. The white decals on the Revol CLX Rapids look amazing. The little subtle details like the white Supercast bar tape really does look really good. And then this red paint job is gorgeous. One of my favorite reds they did with the white to fade to black. But anyways, so starting off with the cockpit, we have on here the new Revol Rapide handlebar in a size 42 centimeter. Uh, we have on here the Supercast Galaxy bar tape with the white stars to go ahead and accent the white decals and the white s logo. We have on here the uh, Garmin mount, or I'm sorry, the Wahoo mount already installed on here. And then with the frame sets, they do include a s Tarmac stem. So you don't actually have to buy this. Whatever stem size you get, you actually get the stem length on there as well. You have titanium bolts, the s logo, and then they give you different stem caps. If you want to lower this as well, you can always change the fit. Also included in the frame box, they give you the parts for a uh, the GoPro mount if you want to, or a light underneath here as well. So keep that in mind. On the new Roval Rapide bars, you have the Roval logo, the Rapide logo right there as well, and then the new little cutouts. Best thing about this bar, when you're sprinting, you don't have that hit on your wrist. So they did a really good job in here. SRAM 4 shifters, this is a one by, but it's still a, uh, we have 12 speed in the rear, one in the front, uh, hydraulic brake line. So the only thing running through here is going to be a hydraulic brake line through the bar. Underneath that stem right there as well. And then it hides down to these spacers. These are breakaway spacers. So you're able to uh, lower the stem if you want to. You can change up the stem if you want to. You don't actually have to rerun all the hydraulic cables and housing. So if you're still buying this frame, you want to work on your fit, you don't have to go ahead and rerun the brake housing every single time, which is really nice. Uh, so good features there. Uh, like I said, SRAM Force 12 speed axis hydraulic shifters. Let me get out there. We have the bright white S-Works or Specialized logo on the front. We go down to the fork. We have a nice little nod to Specialized on the front fork as well. He has the Revol Rapide Celex wheels, which these were a pain in the butt to find and the white decal. I think he outsourced them uh, from a bunch of different places. I think he bought the wheel online and the other wheel somewhere else, uh, but the white decals are very hard to find. You'll notice that a lot of stores have rears. I have a ton of rears. I don't have any fronts. I don't know why that is, but we're still waiting to get more. So hopefully soon uh, the bearings are not a uh, ceramic bearing anymore and these wheels are not tubeless ready so keep that in mind if you're buying the new rapids they're not tubeless ready and they're not ceramic bearings it's a dt swiss pretty much a 240 hub in the front rebranded you can see it's a revol hub but it just says dt swiss inside so basically 240 bearings um, and then also these wheels are staggered for the front wheel is a 51 millimeter depth wheel the rear is going to be a 60 millimeter depth wheel the tires he has on here are the pirelli p0 tcr uh, I'm sorry, the P0 race tires, uh, 700 by 25. These are tubeless ready tires, but again, these are not a tubeless ready wheel set. Also, if you notice, the width on these wheels is massive on the front. The reason why I did that is because they want to give you more 
stability and more tire on the ground to stretch out that tire further. So if you're descending, they're giving you more tire on the ground, which will give you more control. But you can see how much that rim protrudes on that front wheel, um, which is crazy. So it's actually the, the, the front wheel is actually wider than the rear wheel. Um, very cool stuff. Going to the other side, we have on here a 160 millimeter rotor in the front and a 160 millimeter rotor in the rear. SRAM Force flat mount disc brakes. And yeah, let's go to the other side. Beautiful paint job. Gorgeous gloss red wine color. Go down to a, that's a gloss S-Works logo in white. And then it fades to a matte black, which looks really good. S-Works water bottle bolt cages right here. They say S-Works on there, so you know you paid a lot of money. Got the S-Works, got the S-Works. We have the one by setup. So we have the, all these frame sets come with this little rubber mount as well. If you ever do go one by, you have this little cover plate. They give you the braze on derailleur. If you ever wanted to make it a uh, two by, you have that option as well. Uh, it is a fact carbon 12R for S-Works frame sets. All S-Works frame sets by Tarmax are gonna be 12R. The pros, experts, and comps are all gonna be 10R. That is the difference between the S-Works and the pros and comps and expert. It's not just because it says S-Works, it's because it is a different carbon layup as well. Front chairing is a 50 tooth uh, one by chairing setup. There is no power meter on here, but that matte black looks really good with this kind of a, a bike frame. You have a SRAM Force 172.5 crank arm and the gloss color. They make these in two different versions. They make a gloss color SRAM Force crank arm and they make a matte color SRAM Force crank arm. Definitely like the gloss. It looks really good and ties in well. SRAM Force 12 speed flat uh, top chain. And then the rear we have a 1026, no, I'm sorry, 1028 SRAM Force cassette. And again, you can see they change it. It used to be a black anodized color cassette for SRAM Force. They changed it to this gloss color because it was actually really noisy. They were saying that the anodized on the black was actually causing the chatter. So a lot of people were complaining about SRAM Force being a little bit more noisy, but uh, they went ahead and made some revisions to it and they fixed it. And uh, now it's not as noisy. So kudos to you SRAM for listening to the consumers. SRAM Force rear derailleur. Uh, you have one battery in the back here. Uh, so that's all you have to really worry about for charging. And yeah, that's it. Uh, you do have the Revolve Rapide wheel in the rear. This is a CLX Revolve Rapide wheel in the rear. And again, this depth is 60 millimeters in the rear. It is bladed spokes. We have a Wahoo sensor on here and then a CLX rear hub. The tire in the rear is gonna be the Pirelli P0 race tire and a 700 by 26. And then the rear disc rotor as well is a 160 millimeter center lock rotor with the SRAM Force flat mount disc brake. We have a normal threaded SRAM dub bottom bracket. And then to top it off, we have on here, the S-Works Roman, uh, Roman Evo mirror saddle, $450 saddle, 3D printed, very cushioned saddle, carbon rails, carbon body, all these kind of uh, 3Ds on here, printed stuff, very cool. Uh, keep in mind as well, for all the frames that you buy aftermarket, they are still going to come with the old style seat posts, just for the reason of, if you bought this frame set, you might want to run it with a DI2 Grupo, um, uh, with the old DI2 junction box, the 11 speed, so they give you that option. All new bikes like the 2022 Experts, Pros, and S-Works with the new Durace are gonna come with a new seat post with a flush uh, junction port right here. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. This is a little bit heavier, but they give you the option for it for people who wanna buy it. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this build. Would you want Specialized to do something like this? I love that little white tarmac right there. Would you want Specialized to implement this price point to everyday consumers? I think it's a good deal. Um, if I had that kind of money, I was debating between 14 grand and 10 grand. It, it's four grand is a lot of money. It's a, it's a huge chunk of change. So I think it's a good price point. I think it'll get a lot more people into the door and think about an S-Rex bike. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Revolve CLX Rapide wheel set with a 36 tooth ratchet and SRAM Force XDR Frio body. You're gonna free a body sound right now. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much. I'll see you guys in the next one.